Hey guys, it's Captain America. She does it all. A little bit of everything. I just uh, did a three parts video on 25 things poor people do that keep them poor and that the rich people don't do. So now I want to give you an overview of 10 habits that rich people have that keep them richer or rich, right? Number one, millionaires take daytime. But I think they can afford to take time to do whatever. They're not in a hurry because they don't have nowhere to go, you know. They already have money. They're already making money, trying to make more money. So that's that's not a, you know, come on. They have money. They don't have to be in a hurry, right? Number two, millionaires love what they do. Whatever they do to make money, they love it. They want to get better at it, right? Number three, millionaires are always learning. That is true, in my opinion. They do a lot of reading. They believe power is knowledge. They educate themselves about whatever it is they're doing. How can they get better at it? How can they make more money? Number four, millionaires prioritize their health. Yeah, they go to the doctor. They do what the doctor say. They eat healthy. And hey... That's why they're going to be around long enough to enjoy their money. Number five, millionaires invest in their communities and mentor others. Um, question mark on that one. Not all of them do that, you know. So it is what it is. Um, number six, millionaires are frugal. That is so true, yeah. <clears throat> These people with money don't spend money like people that don't have money like us, middle class. I saw a report somewhere where the most expensive perfume or brand poor people buy it we the middle class poor people buying we don't mind putting three hundred dollar and um uh what's this perfume we have they have creed um Baccarat rouge we know the best of the best and even though we don't have money we try our best to wear the best of the best and the rich don't care <laughs> they can afford it but they don't care. They very frugal. They they dress and they buy clothes in secondhand store. Not all of them. Some of them you can tell they have rich and they have made it. They got the money. But some of them they are frugal. They don't even eat well. They don't dress well. They don't keep you know keep themselves together. Oh my God! They even Warren Buffett. He was driving these 1986 car for the longest. This man is frugal, y'all. And another thing. Let's see. They are frugal. Number seven, millionaires like to plan ahead. It's true. They plan ahead, you know. And um, it makes their life easier when you plan ahead. And um, they plan ahead. Number eight, millionaires build strong team. Yes, I believe so. I believe so. And let me see. Number nine, millionaires are intentionally, well, millionaires are intentional with their money. Nearly half, 49% of the self made millionaire were saver investors who saved 20% or more of their income from first day they started working. All of the millionaires. I interviewed have some form of retirement saving. Okay. Number 10, millionaires embrace failure. That's one thing we cannot get out of our system. If we try once, we fail, we try, we, we give up. We, I think we give up too quickly, uh, seriously. We need to keep on fighting, trying to see if we can make it, man. We can't give up too quickly, seriously. And let me see if there's anything else that they do that keep them rich or get them richer. Um, let me see, guys. If anything, I'll just read the title. You could go on Google and find out yourself. I read one of the comments one of my subscribers or viewers said they starved themselves. <laughs> you know what? In every serious thing, you got to find somebody that make you laugh. I read it. I was like, oh, God. I, I didn't see that one coming, but... They say they starve themselves. They don't eat well. Little lettuce, little tomato, little cucumber. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I'm just here to report some stuff that they do, how we can get there. And when we get there with our investment, how to do things differently, okay? <laughs>
Ay, ay, ay. I was laughing. They starved themselves. And they call it good diet. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I give you some things they do. I know for sure they are frugal. They don't want to spend their money on anything, you know, that expensive. Because they want to keep that money. I saw a TikTok video. I mentioned in one of my uh, videos from last week, I think. The lady saw a man that has a sign that say, take as much as you want. He has a lot of dollar tip to his shirt. A lady had a, I don't know, a Gucci bag, a very expensive bag. And the young man said, do you really need this money? Because... You're having this expensive bag. How, why would you take the money? She said, I have a nail appointment tomorrow. She can afford to pay for her own nail appointment. But because the money is free, she start taking it. And a man, a rich man also was taking money. And the young man said, it don't look like you need the money. Why are you taking it? He said, it's for free. He's going to take it. Because it's for free. And when a poor man, a homeless guy came in, he only took $2, yeah. And the young man asked him, you can get more. Why you only take two? He said, all I need is $2. So you can see the rich are selfish. They only think about themselves. They only think about getting more, more, more. And I saw one video on YouTube where Tupac was saying, this man, Donald Trump, want more, 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 more. Instead of sharing and give to the others that they need. I strongly believe if Tupac were here today, if he was still alive, he would do a lot of good with his money. Because he's saying, why you have a house with 17 bedrooms, with 10 bathrooms, you only need two. Why? I respect that about him. He was thinking ahead of the game, but unfortunately, he's no longer with us. The change could not be made. But I strongly believe if he was around, he would have helped a lot of people. Again, for us to get ahead of the game, to make some money, we have to, with all the respect, stop being lazy, take action, make a move, do something, have a desire, have a will to make it. And we can do it. We have what it takes to do it. We give up too quickly. You know, we give up too quickly. We need to keep on trying until we get to the next line. All right. Thank you for subscribing again. You guys are surprising me. I am so thankful for you taking a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. I know sometimes the videos are long, but it's stuff that we need to know. And you guys are subscribing, leaving comment. I am so thankful about it. God bless you. And again, continue to subscribe. Let's get it to a thousand subscribers, then 5,000, 10,000, half of a million. I bring information in different languages. I do my best. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you get what I'm trying to say. And at the end of the day, I give myself credit even for trying. I have to try. It will get better eventually. You know, whether it's in Spanish, in Creole, in English, it will get better. And it's okay if you criticize my accent. It's okay if you criticize the way I look, the way I sound. At the end of the day, I'm trying to get the message to you. Once you get the message, we're good to go, baby. It's all good. I'm trying. Why don't you get up and do something? Together, we can do it. Subscribe. Bye.